How does it feel to come home to the truth of who we are? To come back to the home frequency of love? Is it possible to truly experience unified wholeness, where we acknowledge that we're all in this together? Yes, it is possible. It starts in our hearts. When we become aware of our liquid breath and the miraculous rhythm of our own heartbeat, dropping into listening within the deep core of life itself, hearing the very heartbeat of Mother Earth, we align with the rhythm of the ocean waves, feel the winds that blow from the four directions until we can taste the air and see the illumined world in the daylight's sunfire, at the same time being wrapped in the vast mysterious expanse of space in the endless night sky. In this space, we are whole. We remember who we are. But now, in our unity, we pause on you, Mother. We feel the searing heat of your burning forests. We smell the smoke of your catastrophic fires. We swirl in the torrential oceanic waves that drown our life force, bringing more grief into our acute awareness. We shiver in the sight of your ice melting, exposing new and ancient deadly viruses through your permafrost. We are exhausted from loneliness and isolation and tribal thoughts of separation. Mother Earth, we feel your heaving breasts sighing because we humans have forgotten how interrelated and interconnected we are. And yet, at this auspicious time of upheaval, a global pandemic, climate patterns changing, the threat of extinction of 15,000 species on Earth, soil degradation, social injustice, the slow dying of democracy, the tyrannical rule of the few over the many, and the soul's deep pain from feeling separated from nature and all that is sacred. We ask, is there any light that can shine on this darkness that is suffocating humanity? The answer is yes, yes, yes. In the midst of all this unbearable chaos, our hearts, our land, our heartland, the land where we live now is simultaneously being covered and connected with a hopeful caravan of unity and peace. We are reclaiming our divine nature, honoring the wisdom of our indigenous heritage around the planet, and rebirthing ourselves as a new awakened species. We are in a period of transformation and transmutation, feeling ourselves moving and acting with more intense compassion and kindness than we have ever experienced before. We are vulnerable, but we are open, honest, and authentic. We are becoming divine humans, humaning, experiencing ourselves and each other as valued, whole, happy, and well. We are putting love behind every word and action we take. We delight in purpose, in serving and uplifting others, knowing that as we live into the greatest, most joyful expression of this magnificent love, we are serving the good of all. And it's no longer about our individual selfish needs. Instead, we are connecting and living for the good of the whole. We are shifting and transforming the prevailing paradigms of illusion and despair with trust, truth, and hope by anchoring once again the ancient sacred consciousness that unifies humankind, this planet, all plants and animals, and the whole of life. This is the great remembering. We are riding a wave of healing energy an undefined love that is bringing us back home into the truth of our own authentic and most loving hearts, 
merging with the original beating rhythm of our Mother Earth's heartbeat and rolling and flowing through this caravan's continual forward momentum of unity and peace for all beings. We are being invited to ride this wave of harmony together, where we're celebrating our miraculously diverse, unified humanity and coming home to the one source within the one healing heart of love. This is our spiritual destiny. This is the path back to our unified wholeness. This is coming back home into the sweet, gentle ease and joy of living in love. Living and loving in, from, and as the heartland that is within everyone, everywhere. Everywhere.